all this attention? Huh? You missed this attention? Oh, no, no, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I love, the fans love me, so I give them love back. Right. You know, right. love equals love, you know what I mean? And even those, even those who hate me, you know, they still gonna come out and support me from the hatred that they got for me. So I still got love for that. You know what I mean? Tell me what you thought of tonight overall. I mean, Sean started off wrong, you know, moving around the ring, fighting at Danny's pace. When he got into his own rhythm, the fight went his way. You called this. Oh, you called this exactly. I you called both of them. Right. You know, look, and the thing is, you know, we've been boxing for so long, it's not easy to make a, a style change. You know what I mean? Sean was moving around in the beginning, but that I don't think that benefited him. You know, when Danny's able to be really calm and mellow, that's his zone. You don't want Danny in his zone. You want to take him out of that comfort zone. And that rough house, get inside, them body shots. That was perfect. That's exactly what Sean needed tonight. Okay. It was sloppy like, like, like a lot of people said. It's not the prettiest way to win, but it's a win nonetheless. What about the overall night? You being here, Spence being here, the, the fact that the people just here sitting next to each other. Man. Like this. I mean, the whole night, though. I mean, just the, the, the whole world to like the vision. The fact that it's the first night we've all been in a big fight. What do you mean? Yeah, but the fact that... These two guys are fighting for a title. Broner was here. Um, Jamal James was here. Like I said, brother, this happens more than you think. I don't know. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. We have all the fights all the time. Big fights. What do you think happens from here? I mean, there's so much that can happen. You know, Ugas is here. Oh, no. He's, what do you mean? Ugas is what? Well, Ugas is a big guy. Spencer. Mandatory and, and he just, just won the number one position for the WBC. So okay. now he's got two mandatory positions. You know what I mean? So we'll see which champion fights him. You know, I got to get back in the ring first, tune up, right? Then I'm willing to fight for that, for, to get my belt back next year, right? But it's going to have to be negotiated. What if Sean wants to get in the ring in February? I'm most likely going to have a fight and I'm not going to be able to fight in February. So maybe he will fight a Ugas or something like that. So I can't predict, man. I hate predictions. You want to talk you to You did a good job. You did a good job predicting this one. <laughs> I hate the really future. I, we, this was happening. I don't like predicting the future of the fight world. That's annoying as hell to me. Just go call Miss Cleo. Uh, old school. Uh, yeah, man. Danny, Danny Strong, man. He's a heavy handed fighter. But that power comes from his flat footedness, it comes from him truly committing. See, that's a and he's slow. Even though you guys booed him, that's he's still slow. signing on. I didn't want, no, no, no. I, I, I was a little bit. No, 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 no. Some of them. Some of them out here.